What's up guys and welcome back to Technique of the Week right here on Deco Crete TV. My name is Jeff and on today's episode we're going to be showing you guys a real quick easy way to patch um, an area on a chip floor in case you missed anything so stay tuned and you're going to learn all about it. So we're working on this chip floor uh, down at our plant at DC Products. And you know, this is an older area. The floor was a little bit rough and man, it is just amazing what a coat of chips will do to uh, hide everything and cover it all up, make it look new again. Only problem is uh, whoever was chipping, uh, that was me. Uh, we missed a little spot over here. Um, this can happen a lot of times when you're underneath the cabinet or kind of behind a sink or behind a post or something. And so uh, the, the great thing is that we don't have to go get our sander out and, and sand and third grind this off and rechip it, not necessary. We can honestly fix this up pretty easy to where you're barely even gonna notice. In fact, if you didn't know it was there, you probably won't even see it. So uh, the first thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little leaf blower. You know, I already scraped all around this area and the beauty is that, you know, this was a, a, a pretty close to where we started chip uh, scraping at and we found it right away. So we're gonna go ahead and patch it now uh, and then worry about cleaning up the rest of our floor over there. That way, by the time we're done cleaning up in the rest of the area, this thing's gonna be uh, dry and ready to go. So all we need to do is just uh, scrape everything down, take a little leaf blower, just clean up the area, uh, just so that there's no you know, uh, loose chips there. And th now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up a little bit of fast set polyaspartic. Now we don't have to use fast set, you know, we're using a kind of a medium set to top coat this whole thing. And we could use that if it's all we had. It's just that uh, that's gonna slow us down a lot longer. In this case, we're gonna use our Poly Armor 70 and it's gonna be dry within an hour and it's really not gonna slow us down at all. Now, the other thing that I have learned on this is that if you scrape this just at the right point, um, cause you can almost, Probably can't see in the video, but I can feel that this is uh, its not really very sticky anymore, but I have got on these floors just at the right point where, you know, it was it was iffy, but I was able to get on and scrape it. And when we scrape over this, uh, sometimes they fix themselves. So if that happens to you, then great, just move on. So uh, before I even get started mixing, I'm gonna take a chip brush and I just like to trim this down a little bit with the scissors just to make the bristles a little bit stiffer. Uh, that way I'll be able to brush this out really, really thin. It's important when we're putting this stuff down that we don't get a thick ridge or anything. So that's just gonna help me spread it out nice and thin. And then all I'm gonna need is just a little handful of chips. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my fast set polyspartic. I'm gonna, uh, I'm not gonna dump any down on that spot because I'm probably gonna end up with too much. So I'm just gonna take my brush and just brush it out. You know, um, you know, I wanna get, you know, enough here for chips to stick to, but then I wanna really kind of feather it out towards the edges so I don't end up with a ridge. As soon as I have that 70 down, um, you know, I just wanna go ahead and just, just set my chips right on top of there. I'll just kind of sprinkle them in with my fingers like this, maybe even just pat them down a little bit. And uh, as soon as it looks like it does right now, we'll go ahead and we'll just keep on scraping and cleaning here on this job. And um, you know, within 45 minutes to an hour, uh, we can just take a little putty knife over that, scrape this up, and then we'll be able to top coat it all at the same time. And uh, like I said, barely even knew that this happened. So if it happens to you, don't worry. You don't have to fire the guy that was chipping. Uh, we can fix it up. You're gonna have, he's gonna, it's gonna cost him a six pack on the way home, but he doesn't have to be fired. Well guys, that's pretty much it for this week's technique. Hopefully you guys are able to utilize this on a job site in the future. Um, only if you mess up though. This is one of those techniques that you kind of have to mess up to use this one, but hopefully it helps you guys out. If you guys like this video, please let us know by hitting those two little like and subscribe buttons, man, that means the world to us. And then we also just appreciate so much how you guys tune in every week and um, you know, always uh, showing that support. Please leave us a mess, uh, comment if we missed anything or if you have anything to add to this technique. So from all of us here at Technique of the Week and Deco Creek TV, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. So you never know who you run into at Deco Crete. Uh, we were doing this floor today and all of a sudden uh, our buddy John Bell showed up. So this is John Bell from Indiana from RTA Kitchens. Uh, he's a local pig farmer out there and also an amateur comedian. And right now he is going to tell you his number one best joke. So go ahead, John. Let's do it. It's actually not even a joke. It was, it's, it's just a time that me and Rod Weaver and, and Jason were out hunting. And we were walking across the pasture, and, and here's this goat with its head stuck in the fence. Well, Jason goes up behind it and, you know, takes advantage of it. 
he he gets to going at it and gets done and looks over at Rod and says, Hey, Rod, you want any of this? Rod said, do I have to stick my head in the fence too? 